Hello, class of 84, Dave Rivers here. And today, I'm at our old high school. I wanted to show you what all has changed here over the years. We're gonna take a look around the outside of the building, maybe the inside. They're having Christmas in the country here today. So uh, hopefully some of you that haven't been here in a long time and know what's going on, I will enjoy this and see the changes that's been made here. So let's get started. Out front here is a nice monument. 1998 AAA Champs. Here's a nice monument that has been erected to the Val Victorians from 1973, uh, I believe on up nearly to the present. And down here near the bottom is our class. And there's Julie Underwood and Kenneth Walker. Right in here is the old courtyard. And I know a lot of you spent time here chatting with friends, horse playing, different things. But some fun memories of being out here in the courtyard and listening to music. We had a little radio or something, or a cassette player. Just talking with your friends, laughing, having a good time. And this is all new. Uh, I believe that's a, either a baseball or softball field over there. Probably a softball field, I think. And uh, this is the new soccer field out here. And here's the softball field. Here's the old entrance going in. I remember sitting in the school bus here when I was in middle school waiting for the high school students to come out. And here's the swimming pool area. And I remember sitting on this wall many times chatting with friends. Probably some of you have sat on this wall as well. Here's a little bench dedicated to Herb. Now, I'm not for sure who Herb is. Maybe some of you do. Leave me a comment and tell me who that might be. And there's the old shop building. It had a Ag class in there. Here's the vocational building. And look at this. They have bricked up all the uh, overhead doors in here. I remember there being um, auto body class in here. So I'm assuming they probably have turned this into classrooms now. And here's the boys' baseball field. It's now called Shelby Rye Field. And I'm guessing it's named after Coach Rye. There's a nursery back here, and it looks like the FFA boys are working on an old tractor. Down here by the lower entrance to the gym, Someone has painted a very nice mural. And I bet some of you remember this old silo that used to sit down by the road as you came in. I actually know whose property that used to be long ago and when it, when it was still an operating farm. It was owned by a man named Guy Oakley. And this wall here has now got a bunch of handprints on it. 
Also here at the back is an addition of new classrooms. Right there where that uh, little brick wall is standing up, that's where that hallway ended. Now as you can see, they've added on a couple more hallways here for more classrooms. Pretty view up here. Here's another shot of all those classrooms that was added on here to the back of the building. This is the back of the uh, library where we used to sit and study or pretend to study. And then right around the corner here this was the smoking area just off of the uh, cafeteria. There's now this nice looking LED sign here where I think before there used to be just like a marquee sign with changeable letters on it. But this is a nice looking sign, nice improvement. The back of the visitor stand has now been repainted. Looks really nice now. They got rid of that old yucky green color and painted the DC logo on there. This is where the field house once stood and they built tennis courts here and now the tennis courts have been torn down. I'm not sure if they're getting ready to build new tennis courts or what. Now they have this really nice field house and there's something up behind the field house I want to show you. So let's go take a look at that. I don't believe this concession stand was here when we were at school. Uh, leave me a comment if I'm wrong about that, but it seems like the concession stand was this little bitty building right here. Okay, this is the main entrance to the field house, and there's something here that uh, it's quite interesting. Right underneath this tree, someone has placed a plaque in memory to our classmates that have passed away. I would love to know who had this done. If you do know, please leave a comment. But this is very nice that someone made the effort to to put this little plaque here in memory of our classmates that have gone on before us. They've added this little guard shack here, so to speak, coming up the hill to the school. Also, they built a new road right here that kind of cuts off and uh, goes up into the middle of the parking lot. A few guys out here playing around on the practice field. Okay, let's go in and take a look around inside the building now. They got some cool looking screens here on the wall showing pictures of the various students. And there's the old trophy case. And this is the old front lobby area here. I remember hanging out in this lobby many times after lunch. Okay, let's take a stroll down the old hallways here. There's a look inside the old library. And here's the old office area. Still pretty much looks the same. Still got the cougar up there. 
Looks like they've added a few cougars. Right upstairs there is the study area of the library. Here's the main hallway past the office. This goes down to the courtyard. And it looks like they're doing some renovating here in the old library. They're taking out some flooring here, it looks like. Well, the doors are locked to the auditorium, so we're just going to have to take a peek through the glass here. I remember Coach Keel sitting in there keeping a watch over us. Here is the old cafeteria area. All the vendors are set up in here today. And then here is the new cafeteria. Looks like this is where the lunch lines form. There's a nice mural on the wall here. And this is the new cafeteria area. Okay, let's go down and check out the gym and see what's going on there. And here's the pool. Had a lot of fun in here. Wow, look at all the people here today for the Christmas in the country. Lots of folks. It still pretty much looks the same in here. Had a lot of fun in this old gym. A lot of fun pep rallies. Games, different things that came to. One thing I have noticed, they've uh, blacked out the windows up here. That's unfortunate. They used to let in some nice sunlight. It's kind of dark feeling in here now. Here's the area. Uh, this is kind of the lobby area, I guess, where you'd come in to go to uh, games here in the gym. Now, <laughs> I remember doing aerobics class in this hallway here. Now they've got some very interesting mannequins up here. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, I see there's some names here at the bottom. This is John Rich, class of 1992. And this character here is Anison Mount, American actor, class of 1991. Let's see who else we got here. This person is Trevor Daniel of the class of 2013. And then finally, Elizabeth Franklin, Titans cheerleader, class of 2012. This wall is the Educator Hall of Fame. Most of these people here were here when we were in school. Let's take a look. Look at this. Coach Daniels, George Caldwell, Jim Bone, Fran Allen, Patricia Hudson. She's here today. She has a booth set up. 
There's old Coach Pruitt right there. Wendell Hudson. Janie Jones. Richard Jones. There's Mr. Lampley. He was my ag teacher. Very fond of him. Ralph Overton. Not for sure who that is. And here's Miss Shirley Rye. She was such a sweet lady. And there's Shelby Rye. Here's another plaque with the uh, Bella Victorians listed. And right there is Julie Underwood, 1984. And down here at the bottom, Kenneth Brian Walker. This board has got a list of the uh, gold medalist and right here, if I can get the glare off of it, is Tracy Holt from our class. Here's another plaque dedicated to the boys' citizenship, and I just spotted Joey England right there. Here's a plaque to the girls' citizenship, and right there is Tracy Holt. Well, thank you all for joining me on this virtual tour here of our old school building. This has been a lot of fun, uh, revisiting uh, the building here and seeing what's changed. Hope you all have enjoyed uh, this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And hopefully we'll run into each other again soon. Hopefully we'll have a reunion. I've actually thought about doing a meetup um, sometime soon, so maybe that'll happen. Anyway, you all have a great day. See you later.